Hey everybody, welcome back. This is uh, my second video I'm doing. Um, you know, the first one was a review of the uh, Mar uh, Marvel Toys uh, Rip Claw. And one of the things I want to do is, uh, is I want to do more than just toy reviews uh, and figure reviews and stuff like that. Is I want to share with you guys kind of, you know, my approach to my, my collection. Um, I don't get uh i don't collect the way a lot of folks collect them I'm, I'm no longer like a completist collector or, or or things like that you know i i collect things that appeal to me really uh and also i try to you know make some logical sense as kind of a creative outlet and so one of those is i'm i'm a big fan of uh 90s marvel um i may have mentioned this before uh, i was uh in the, the marine corps back in the 90s and um you know that was uh you know a great time uh, to be in the comics there's a lot of stuff coming out a lot of good stuff a lot of bad stuff um and so you know when you're sitting around base and you, know, you sometimes you got a lot of free time on your hands um you go down to the 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 exchange and you know you buy stuff off the comic racks i read a lot of stuff and one of the comics i really liked um is i was a big fan of the avengers um, and then this little comic book called Avengers West Coast. So what had happened is um, uh, the Avengers West Coast came to the end of its run, and it was a big dramatic thing. Um, the the uh, Avengers voted to disband um, uh, the West Coast chapter, and the deciding vote, uh, much to everybody's surprise, was Tony Stark, Iron Man, who was kind of he was original Avenger, and he kind of was like headed up the Avengers West Coast from time to time. Um, so he disbanded the team, but also then took that team and created his own team called Forceworks. Um, and Forceworks was a team that decided that uh, Tony wanted to be more proactive than the Avengers. Um, so what I've done is I've kind of, um, uh, is my Marvel Legends collection grows. Uh, I kind of wanted to theme out some of them. And the theme, one of the teams I wanted to build was... Uh, force works now if you know anything about the book i'm going to go over some of the characters uh you'll notice that some of the characters that i have uh on right here in front of me um weren't on that original team and some were uh and i'll get into that in a minute but just kind of explain uh, the characters that were on that team uh was uh wonder man uh there in the back um uh spider woman the julia carpenter one in the original black and white suit and eventually um uh, War Machine, who's one of my all-time favorite uh, characters, uh, was on the team as well. Um, you know, there were several other members of the team. Some of them, uh, Marvel has uh, Hasbro has made Legends figures of them. Uh, two in particular that I don't have is uh, the Scarlet Witch. Um, there is a good Legends figure that was released with the more comic book style. Uh, Scarlet Witch, I've been looking for that one. I haven't been able to obtain one at a good price. Um, and the second one is a U.S. agent uh, who was um, kind of a, you know, he was Captain America for a while, so he had a distinctive uh, black costume um, in S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Hasbro did one back in the early run of their Legends figures, um, and I can't find that guy anywhere. Um, if I go online, it's just way more than I'm going to spend for it. So I'm just kind of hoping that with the um, with the Marvel Winter Soldier on Disney Plus coming out, that they'll re-release that figure or do another uh, more comics accurate uh, U.S. agent to add to the team. So with, you know, as I'm waiting for this, also uh, the third member is actually Tony Stark Iron Man. Um, there are several Marvel Legends Iron Man figures I could have used, uh, but the one I'm waiting for is hopefully that I will do soon. I've heard rumors that they may do this version of it, that 90s, that uh, uh, that style he had in the uh, Iron Man Armored Avengers cartoon, which was the uh, modular armor. Um, Toy Biz did one. Um, a really a really good one of that uh so hopefully i would like to see you know since they've done the uh the scarlet centurion and the iron man 2020 um i would love to see that um them do a 90s modular version to add to that as well so with that said uh since there's figures i don't have for force works uh but also keeping in 90 theme, i plugged in some characters that were uh uh, kind of had some stuff in the 90s going on. Um, so I kind of was building this. My Force Works team is kind of an analog to um, the Avengers. So you have War Machine filling out the uh, Iron Man role, of course. Um, Thunderstrike, uh, which that just came out recently. is a great figure. Um, so that's my Thor analog. And, of course, you know, Wonder Man is the powerhouse of the team. 
so he's kind of your Hulk on the team. Uh, and then, of course, you know, uh, Julia Carpenter, the uh, Spider-Woman, uh, who was part of the original team. And so what I've added is uh, recently also, I think it was in the same way that Thunderstrike came in, they did Jocasta, um, who kind of fills the vision uh, slot on my team because uh, their origins are all tied together. She's a creation of Ultron and all that stuff. And that's this is her classic, classic look. Um, did a real good job. And so then also the other one is, um, this is the more modern version version there, the very Mockingbird. Um, you know, she was a, a mainstay of the Avengers West Coast when uh, Tony, when that team got disbanded and Tony did force work. So I think her and Hawkeye went off and did something. Um, so, and I've not seen a more, I haven't seen a classic version of uh, Mockingbird, but I really like this one. I think even though this is a more modern version, it does have kind of that 90s feel to it. Um, so I put her on there. So she's kind of the Black Widow analog. Of, of the team um so that's that's kind of you know kind of my thought process when i'm doing these uh you know doing these legends figures uh, some people get kind of you know don't understand when I'm, only, when I'm only collecting certain things uh for certain reasons but i have the method of this and this is my imagination as part of what the action figure collecting is um they're not just you know i mean people do it they're not just something for me that you put on the shelf um i like to I like to have fun fun with them, and one of the ways is I like building, um, you know, world building with them. So this is part of my Marvel uh, Earth. This is my version of Force Works. Um, hopefully, I will uh, I will snag that Scarlet Witch <laughs> version soon, and hopefully they'll do that uh, U.S. Agent and Iron Man that I would like to see uh, to add to them. Uh, there's a few other guys that were on that team that I don't ever see Hasbro doing unless they start digging into some really obscure characters, um, to do so. But that's kind of why, you know, uh, I think, you know, even though I don't chase the build of figures anymore, this is kind of why I think the build of figures are important because I don't think we'd ever gotten, uh, a character, uh, a figure of Jocasta if it wasn't for, um, the build a figure waves that kind of gives you the um, the opportunity to, to get those obscure characters out that people will buy off the shelf because they want to collect uh, that build a figure piece. So there you have it, uh, Marvel's um, uh, my version of headcanon of Force Works. Um, that's what they that's what they are. You know, so just go ahead and let me know what you think. Uh, are, do any of you guys do this? Do you uh, theme out your collection? Um, or do you have to make sure that if you do a team that it's exactly who was on there or do you add you know pieces and parts to build your own teams uh, as well um, and I'll get to working on my you know my thoughts for my next video I'm kind of torn I don't know if I would um, you know uh, do uh, um, I got a, a Batman figure I want to do a review on I may want to do my pitch of what I would think a, a Fantastic Four movie in the MCU would be like um, uh, I got some other smaller uh, Star Wars and G.I. Joe figures I would love to love to show you guys so as I work on that and think about that um, you know, we'll see what happens uh, so thanks for watching